I uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Waterloo Region is home to over 700 Sudanese people and their families, with many more with connections in Sudan right now. People like Suha Oz, uh, Osman, a Wilfrid Laurier alum, and 18 family members of hers in Sanar right now fleeing airstrikes. At a time when six uh, 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 diplomats were evacuated on Sunday, while Suha and her family are still in Sudan with no way out, it's hard not to have the sense that some lives seem more important than others. Can the member for Whitby share more about what we all can do to ensure that every Canadian, all 1,700 that are in Sudan right now, get to safety as soon as possible? The Honourable Member for Whitby. Well, thank you to the member opposite. Again, I, I feel for every single person that, uh, that may be stuck and wanting to get out uh, of Sudan. So, but I think that the, um, the Minister's office has been very good about setting up the coordinated response to get people out. I think it's a challenge. We have to recognize that there are uh, situations that are evolving. It's challenging. Uh, it's dangerous. There, you know, we really have to work through our international partners and really find people uh, ways out uh, that are safe. So I agree with you that um, that it's challenging and uh, certainly from different people's perceptions, you know, you can look at s things happening slower or faster, but I think we have to understand that it's a difficult situation and the minister's office is uh, working through the partnerships that they have to do the very best.